Joined now by Omaha head women's soccer coach going into his seventh season, Tim Walters, and coming off of that uh, special sixth season where you guys won the conference tournament championship uh, at home. Uh, and everything kind of aligned perfectly for you guys there to host the championship. It was in front of a record crowd. Uh, what was that moment like for you when, uh, when that final penalty kick was missed? Probably relief, mostly, to be fair. Um, it, it did align perfectly for us, and, and you don't get a, a chance very often to play at home um, in front of your, your fans and in front of your families and in front of your student-athletes with a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. So it kind of felt it kind of felt like going into the game like that was our chance. That was the big uh, big chance for us. So, yeah, once the final whistle went and, and the last PK went wide, it was it was probably some relief first and then then a lot of joy, obviously. You know, we worked pretty hard. So, yeah, things aligned great for us. But I always remember the team worked really, really hard for things to align for us. So you got to make your luck somehow. And, and we certainly made our luck. You know, we don't get to host that last game if we don't go on the road and beat Oral Roberts on the last day of the season. So, um, you know, I think they made their luck and, and they took their chance. So I was really proud of the group. And shortly after that, uh, later that month, you went on and signed a, a multi-year extension. How much does that mean to you, knowing that the university has faith in you leading this program forward? Yeah, you know, for me, it's 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 for my family, you know, and my wife and my kids, and and we love Omaha. You know, my wife's from Omaha, so knowing that we're going to be here for a while longer is a, a really good feeling. But um, it just means more time I get to spend with the players, and you know, a lot of these players have two and three years of eligibility left, and knowing that I'm going to get to spend the time with them, and I think they're a really special group. So uh, it means a lot to me. But yeah, I, I love it in Omaha. I love the university. I've been there now at the university overall for going into my 13th year. So. Um, can't really think of anywhere else I'd want to be. So it, it's a good feeling and it's, it's some relief along the way as well, but just really happy and, and that's all done and we're, we're ready to kick on and go, go on to the new season. And it is done and just kind of looking back briefly here, 4-2-3 and three last year in conference play. You talk about getting that win against Oral Roberts on the last day of the season and how important that was to securing the three seed in the tournament. You go on the road and you win a couple of games in Brookings and all of a sudden you're hosting. And now you, you kind of look back at that part of the season, the good part, but there was a stretch last year where you guys didn't win a game for eight games and uh, six straight games that you lost, and uh, including a season opening, uh, or I guess conference opening game against North Dakota when you guys drew. But uh, you look at the roster, 21 players returning from that championship team. How important was, A, that stretch of eight games and then the ability to bounce back in conference play and going through the conference tournament, going on the road and winning, and then winning at home. And now you have 21 players from that roster coming back. Yeah, well, they say the lows make the highs that much better. And uh, we had some lows. We had some lows, certainly. And, you know, I always tell the team, and they kind of make fun of me now, but I always tell the team, like, we're right where we're supposed to be. And even though we had that schedule, we had a tough schedule. I think at one point we played three power fives in a row on the road. Like, we challenge ourselves, and we, we think it makes us ready for the conference season. But I always thought we were right where we were supposed to be. You know, people talk about, you know, women's soccer in our conference, and and they say, you know, I've heard people talk about, like, the middle of the group's really, really close, and, and after the, the top two, and it's – some points, I, times I get a little upset hearing that we we finished third three years in a row in the conference, and we played in three of the last five championship games, um, and no one else can say that. And um, so, so I think it it speaks for where the group's at. Like they always know we're going to have some adversity, and they always know we're going to have some struggles because we're going to go out and challenge them. But I think it's shown in the last five years that um, it helps prepare them, and they're ready, and they're they're mentally tough enough. I think that's a big part. They're mentally tough enough to deal with the lows. Um, and, and then you're going to get rewarded. So just really proud of the group because a lot of teams could have folded um, during that stretch. I think we were 2-8-1 and one at one point, and we walked off the field against North Dakota, and we were like, how did we not win that game? And it was a pretty big low for us. And then this could be the, the next game, we scored a late winner against North Sophia Dakota State, and it kind of seemed like that was Sophia the turning Green. point for us. Um, so soccer's a funny game, one bounce here, one bounce there. But, you know, the, the strange part for me is at 2-8-1, and one, I, I still thought, I, you know, we were starting to get healthy. I was like, I still think we have a team that can win the championship here. Um, and, you know, sometimes you're right and sometimes you're wrong. And, and it was it was a time we were right, and we, we were able to – get our ducks in a row and, and came back and had a great end of the season. Well, now you look at 
the defensive third of your roster. Uh, Reagan Zimmer is coming back, and she was selected as one of the players to watch in the West Region nationally. And Emma Consmo in goal, who saved two penalty kicks uh, in the championship game. You know, what does that give to you in terms of confidence and, and to the rest of the team, knowing, okay, we have stout defense that had eight shutouts last year, and we have two of the key players coming back in that part of the field? Yeah, I mean, we, we return, you know, we, we lose Grace Thede, who, you know, was a three-year starting left back for us, but people forget that she missed the last seven games of the season through injury. So we return everybody from, from that group, and it's nice to have that consistency. We've been able to work on things in preseason that maybe you don't get to work on, but it, it's nice knowing that, you know, our foundation is always going to be that we're, we're going to try not to allow a lot. And hopefully we can score more goals this year, but – you know, I think you talk about Reagan and, and Emma and, and they do a great job. And Reagan's our vocal leader and our captain. And, and um, you know, it feels like she's been here for a long time and she's still got two years left, which is great. Um, but Jordan West has been right there by her for, for a couple of years. And I think you ask some coaches in the conference and, you're, you know, they'll tell you that Omaha's got a pretty good center back pairing between the two of them. And they complement each other well. And then Grace Crockett at right back has is, is played a lot of games for us there, led our team in assists last year. So, just the continuity of the whole thing, you know, it, you know, I complain sometimes because it makes recruiting harder because we just keep bringing players back and we keep bringing players back. You know, that's, that's a rich thing to be complaining about that. You have a, a good group that keeps coming back and sticks together. And yeah, ho hopefully we can kick on and not concede goals. So I think that's always going to be our strength that when people come to Omaha, they're going to think that's a tough team to break down. So. Yeah. And as you uh, kind of look forward to this season, selected third in the preseason poll in the summit league, um, is that kind of a chip on your shoulder as you go into the season? Now you mentioned finishing third uh, for no, a few I seasons. I think it's fair. Um, you know, I think until you, you knock off one of the two teams in front of you in the regular season, you know, we've done a really good job of it in the postseason. Um, but until you do it in the regular season, like I think it's more than fair that that's that's probably the right place where we should be. And you know, our jobs to to go win games and can we make a push and can we make the next step this year? And I think we have a team that's capable of doing it. So. Well, it starts tomorrow in Southern Utah at home and then Utah Tech on Sunday. And, of course, those games can be found on the Summit League Network. Uh, Coach, we look forward to, to seeing everything this season and hopefully seeing you down the road in the conference tournament. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. appreciate it.